am running for state senate in District 16, and I think it's time for Miller. Senator Miller. <laughs> and cute, right? <laughs> but let me tell you why. So, first of all, I'm not a politician. I'm probably like a lot of you. I, I spent, you know, was obviously very deeply involved in, in following politics, but I, I worked in the private sector. I come from the computer industry. I was privileged to have a successful career for over 20 years in that industry, working for some of our best companies, like Hewlett Packard, where I managed the Walt Disney Company account. Now that I've met the challenges in the private sector, I want to take that same formula and I want to apply that to the problems, you know, the real challenges that we have here, both in our state and our community. And I don't feel like we're being well represented today. There are a couple issues I wanted to bring to your attention. First of all, I don't know if you've heard this, but there's a train coming. <laughs> Not all at once. I know you guys are excited. I would have said all aboard, but as you know, you have to go all the way to Orlando first before you can make that happen. But I think it's not about the train. It really embodies everything that's really wrong with our government right now. We have an entire train that nobody wants that's about to go slicing through the middle of our community at, at hurricane speeds, no less, 32 times a day. And we wonder, well, how does this happen? This isn't something any of us wanted. Are we not being listened to? When's the last time that you guys heard from your senator, Senator Thad Altman? I was privileged to follow Representative Posey here, who's probably one of the best at communicating with his constituents of anybody I've ever seen before. I love his town hall meetings. And that's really, I think that's the kind of thing that we need to get back at the state level too. How do you coordinate on projects like the Indian River Lagoon, where we got two, $200 million was um, allocated for the lagoon, and unfortunately, only $10 million of that was brought back to our district. And that $10 million, unfortunately, went to Dredge and Canal in Melbourne. I'm deeply concerned about these issues, and I want to give the people back a voice. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Monique Miller, and I look forward to getting to know you. And I think it's time for Miller. <laughs>